Hi, David here of Lancaster Automart A to B. And here we've got a 2015 15 plate Mitsubishi L200 Challenger. So it's the 2.5 diesel. It's got about 175 horsepower and is a great towing machine. So just before we start, we do have other brands available with Automart A to B. So you can see we've got a few lined up on our pitch there. However, back to the vehicle in hand. So what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you around the vehicle, showing you a few condition items on it, if it's got any, and showing you some of the features it has. So first thing we'll do is just take a look at the alloy design. So It's very hard to curb an L200's wheels, so I'm sure there'll be nothing on any of them, but if there is, I will pick them out and show you that. So moving on, so you can see down the side of the vehicle there, bodywork is in mainly pretty good condition there. Nothing wrong on this side at all. You do also have this cover, so I'll show you a little bit more about that as we work around. So you do get the side step on this one, some people may require that. As I said as well, all the alloys good condition there. As we move around the front, there's not really anything on the front bumper at all. First little condition item though is there is a little bit of lack of peel there. But there is a little bit of wear and tear to be expected from a seven year old commercial vehicle. Then onto the front alloy, again no wear and tear on that one. Then down the side of the vehicle again we've got no dints anywhere, nothing like that. And down onto the passenger side rear wheel, again very good condition there. Again a little bit of condition item, just a little bit paint peeled off, just there and just there. And then once we move around to the back you will notice there is a connector for a tow bar down there. The tow bar is in the vehicle. Uh, tow bar is in the vehicle. I'll show you where that's found. But just inside. It's just in there. There's two bags just so it doesn't scratch the boot liner. But it will just show you where that's come from. So that is just from down here. So it can be reconnected up, can tow vehicles. It is already set up to do so. And then this is the cover. Eagle 4x4 one. So moving on inside the vehicle then. Just show you the back seat space before we jump in the front. So in the rear, you'll notice it's actually very, very tidy for a commercial vehicle. Also got these quite nice mats as well. So looking around, there's plenty of room. Do also get armrests there with two cup holders. And the only sort of wear and tear I've spotted inside at all is there's a little bit of a scratch on there, but that's not too bad at all. It's not damaged in any way. Moving on into the front, so you do get electric windows all around. Again, there's mats in the front as well. Apologies that was not the cleanest, but I have been jumping in and out. As we get in though, you do get electrically adjustable wing mirrors and they fold in if you press that button there. You've also got your vehicle stability assist just on that button. So on to features then, I'll just start the engine up as we go. And just find the key slot, there we are. So you can see there the mileage is 67,086. There you go, straight into life, just below 1,000 RPM, exactly what you'd expect from the vehicle. So onto the features inside them. So you do get cruise control over on this side of the wheel. Also got automatic lights and automatic wipers. We've then got this little upper trip computer. Sorry, my uh, camera's not quite catching it very well, but you can flip through quite a few things there. So you've got your range, average speed, outside temp, elevation, barometer, and you've got your date, got your first page again with your radio so you can get your miles per gallon however it has been reset so it's just me sitting here still so it's only showing 4.4 so it's not very accurate reading whatsoever you normally get about sort of high 30s low 40s depending what drive mode you're in so moving down from there you've also got automatic climate control in here so it is single zone but it does work very well you just put this side over onto auto for the air uh, flow so the direction of airflow over on the middle obviously got whether it's an automatic whether you push it on or off for the air con and then you've got fan speed there or you've then got your temperature so if you whack it all the way down it's recirculating automatically but for now we'll just turn that up a little bit below there you've then got your radio you've also got a dedicated phone button just over here you've then got just down here you've got 12 volt power outlet also a nice little storage area you've got your gearbox here so it is five speed and then you've got your 
drive mode essentially. So you've got two high, four high, four high will lock this, and then you four low, lock this, nice manual handbrake. And you've got storage area here. Also a little tray on the top, and you've also got your locking wheel nuts under there with another 12 volt power outlet. So if there is anything I've not covered in this video, there's a little bit of extra info you'd like about the vehicle, don't hesitate to get in contact and I'll see what we can do to help. Thanks, take care, bye.